At the moment, we're seeing a real shift in that slick, modern look. We're moving into spaces with a lot more character. You have texture on texture, and then moving into those beautiful warm colours as well. Oh, that's quite nice. With this bathroom, I'm really trying to encapsulate that character aesthetic using subtle colour, subtle texture, but it's interesting, it's not flat, and I think that people are going to be able to embrace that. This beautiful colour. I've gone with a colour that's quite on trend at the moment. It's a dusky pink. It's Rosine Karen Walker Quarter Blanche Pink. Such a soft tone, it's going to look beautiful with the grey. When you're painting your bathroom, make sure that you do use the right paint. There is a kitchen and bathroom specific paint, so I would highly recommend that. For the wall, to bring in that character, I use a fibre cement board that comes in large sheets. It's really easy to install and extremely cost effective. Right. We have applied Rosine Karen Walker Half Foggy Grey on that. I just love the palette. For the floor, I wanted to bring in the texture. We've used a large format concrete look tile. Make sure if you are going to tile the floor that you check the slip rating and that it is a bathroom specific tile. Watch your fingers. I've chosen a very simple wall hung vanity. When you're installing your vanity with the vessel basin on the top of it, you want to make sure that it's at the right height. I would recommend 950 to the top of the basin. Within the Rexon range, you can choose whichever basin you like. I've paired it with an oval basin because I think it has a beautiful classic feel and I just love the long curve on it. Looks good. I have chosen chrome tapware. It doesn't fight with the elements that we've put in the bathroom. This looks about right. I've chosen a freestanding bath just to sort of emphasise that feel of luxury. And I've gone with a Nouveau Medor bath. I'm happy. <laughs> Something a little bit different, freestanding bath spout. It has a very grand feel to it and I think works so well. So nice. Lighting is so essential to a bathroom. You need to cater for the everyday, but also those more relaxing times. For our task lighting, I put in a strip light at the top of the mirror to get that directional light when you need to put on your makeup or shave. And then for the ambient light, I would recommend putting a dimmer on the main lights in your bathroom. It's a very calming space. I kind of want to dive in and use it <laughs> myself. I feel like the design of this bathroom really does tick the boxes of being very practical, but also very beautiful.